So language is kind of always something I was interested in throughout school, but then when it got to the A-level stage when we got to study more kind of film and literature, I kind of realised it was something I wanted to go further into. I was drawn to Keys because of the number of students. I think it's probably the third biggest college by numbers of people. There's quite a big community feel for MML within Keys. Obviously everybody kind of feels a lot of pressure when they start, especially at Cambridge, because the anticipation is that everybody's going to be really, really smart and there's a lot of pressure to always say really intelligent things. But really, it's more of an opportunity that you can learn from the people around you as well. It's called Modern and Medieval Languages, so that means basically we study both really modern texts and also some sort of 12th, 13th century stuff really early. The course is very focused on giving students the opportunity to think about the culture, history, literature, philosophy, film and art of the various languages that they're studying. Recently I was in Paris, it's the first time I've been since studying here at Cambridge and I really felt I like understood what the influences on the culture were and what the history was and, and it, it kind of does really build your appreciation I think for um, the country and a group of people. Keys has a large number of fellows in modern languages and as a result there's a lot of expertise in the college. It's really great to be spending time with people that are experts in their field and in Keys in particular they're very eager to help students. My language was a bit shaky last year before the exams and they invest extra time to provide extra supervisions to get me up to speed just before the exams which is really nice. Probably something that's quite unique to Keys is the funding that they have for MML students during the summer. We are really keen for our students to spend time abroad, not just during their year abroad, but also in the summer vacations, because they come back motivated to continue their academic study of the, the cultures they've encountered. So the third year, everybody goes abroad as a compulsory part of the course. I say that as if it's a chore, it's actually <laughs> probably the most exciting part. So it's kind of to really hone in on the language skills. So I'm personally hoping to go to Paris for the beginning and then Madrid after that. So I want to go to South America and then hopefully when I come back I'll have kind of got that next level of, of fluency in Spanish. I quite like to work in something sort of to do with maybe international development because languages as a skill, especially among English speakers, is something that's really going down. I think it's something employers are really looking for, people who can speak several languages. 